Well, it's been a manger kind of week, everybody. <laughs> my name's John Della Rose. I am a number one best-selling author and comic creator. I've got all my links in the description below. I would love for you to come check out my books. They're on Amazon, my shop. I've got a Patreon. Just uh, support the channel however you feel like, but really appreciate everybody who does. Uh, if you love my thoughts on comics, then hopefully uh, you'll like my comics too. Good stuff. This is Junji Ito's Cat Diary, and uh, this is the horror uh, manga artist's actual take on his own cats in their life. And so it's a bunch of short slice of life stories that he does uh, in his very distinct style uh, with about his cats. <laughs> you can see them right here. It, you get the origin at the beginning of how he got his cats, and uh, he does some horror-y type stuff. He doesn't want cats to start, and uh, look at how cute those are. Look at those kitties. Pretty realistic. Pretty nice. Um, and just fun little stories about like them playing with the cat wands. Like, just simple stuff that's like, some of it's obvious, some of it's not, uh, but uh, it's good stuff. And you get you get questions from him about his life over the course of this. So it's a really cute sort of deal. Now he does, like I said, he gets the the real horror vibe in there, uh, even in the course of his uh, his just dealing with cats. Uh, he made his wife look particularly creepy. So uh, there's a, there's a little question about that in there. Like, does your wife mind that? And uh, he's like, no. But uh, yeah, this one he thinks the cat's different monsters in the house. So that plays into the horror trope a little bit. One of the cats escapes at one point. You get some actual pictures of the cat right in the middle of it. Like, it's an actual uh, biography sort of deal. Super fun stuff. I read this all in one sitting. Pretty easy, quick stuff to read. Um, and it was enjoyable, you know? So this is this goes over the full life of a cat. And eventually the cat, uh, you know, passes away, unfortunately. And, uh, and you just kind of get their little internal stuff. Now, uh, it's packed full of extras. Also, you get all these translation notes at the end. And afterward, you get a little... Uh, little strips that were included in a, a like sort of bonus sort of thing. You can see him, the cat says he's working. He just does an excellent job. The art is just incredible, beautiful stuff. Um, and uh, a really nice interview afterwards. Okay, this is a this is the bonus manga. So this is the one where the cat's dead, and that's kind of sad to, to think about. But um, yeah, it does a nice interview afterwards. So you really get the whole like picture and story of this whole thing. And uh, it's in this nice hardcover. Now, this is bigger than a normal manga by far. I mean, normal manga kind of are like here. So they, they did this nice deluxe hardcover sort of collector's edition, they call it. I don't know if it's a collector's edition for real. But um, but it is a, a nice hardcover with oversized art for manga, which I appreciate uh, when I look at manga stuff. So it's really good. Um, you know, this is not really the style of thing I would pick up typically. I just kind of did it on a whim. Uh, but I... This is excellence, and I will recognize excellence when I see it. So this is a 9 out of 10. Good stuff. If you're interested in Slice of Life, if you're interested in Cats, if you're interested in just good manga art, uh, this is get definitely the book for you. All right. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.